This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Las Vegas. John O'Carroll's put some height on. No, I'm just joking. He just sat on, on the ledge here at the gym. Uh, yeah, plugging away here at the top-ranked gym for, for what, a couple of weeks now, John? Um, two weeks I'm going to be here, yeah. Just over sparring Devin Haney for his fight against uh, Jojo Diaz. So I'm getting in some top-quality sparring. Um, I'm fighting myself on a Pobellum card in uh, Dubai, December 11th. So it's a uh, perfect preparation for that, you know, sparring a, a weight above world champion. It's just going to set the standard for when I'm world champion and when I'm taking that mad step up, you know what I mean? I'll be well prepared. We'll come on to December 11th in a second, that Pro Bellum card in Dubai. Uh, but let's start with Devin Haney. I mean, that must be a really good experience sparring him. We're just speaking about off camera a little bit. Just give us an insight into sparring Devin Haney. Um, listen, it's brilliant. Devin has a, he's very athletic, he's smart, he's a good ring IQ. Um, He's a great boxer, you know, he's only 23, he was 23 yesterday. Happy birthday with the way, my brother. Um, but for like a man so young, he has a lot of talent, he has good power, um, he's good speed. He's, uh, he's, he's big for the lightweight division as well. You know, so I could see him going up again when he's about 25, 26, but uh, I think he's a, he's a problem at, at, at 135, you know. It's, uh, he could beat anybody on, on his day, for sure. I'm sure you have sparred some top operators in the sport, but would you say Devin Annie's right up there? Yeah, he definitely is right up there. Like I've, I remember sparring Terry Flanagan when he was world champion at the same weight, you know, lightweight. Um, and he was, he was brilliant, but it was at the very kind of start of my career. I was only the winning prize for it and stuff like that, so I wasn't as experienced as I am now. But uh, Devin is definitely, uh, definitely one of the best I've been in the ring with for sure. He's, uh, he's a great operator, and it's, it's amazing experience because this is one thing that I'm, I'm slacking a little bit in Spain. You know, is this world class sparring. So it's great to come out here, get the experience and it will just prepare me for my own future, you know what I mean? When I, when I become world champion, it's a it's perfect preparation for, for next year, hopefully when I lift that world title. Absolutely, of course, uh, we've got Ben Stable in here with Josh Taylor and Lee McGregor. It must be brilliant to, to kind of be around the gym here as well with them. Yeah, do you know what? In Vegas, it's, a, it's such a small place and there's so many top class gyms. It's crazy. Um, even the fact that we got like the Sean Porter and for you on the weekend, you know what I mean, against uh, Tevin Crawford, it's just, uh, or Terence Crawford, it's just, it's amazing to be here, the energy in the gym is just br brilliant, uh, we're in top, top ranked gym now at the minute, and uh, there's so many top class performers in here, like you just got Josh walking in the door, you never know who's going to walk through the door when you're in Vegas, you know what I mean, it's, uh, it's a great place, I'm just happy to be here, it's a, it's a great experience for myself, you know. You're going to fight here one day? Yeah, 100%. I was jogging past the MGM the other day and I was like, wow! I was like, this is amazing. I can't wait till I'm here for performing, hopefully defending my world title against some American, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be beautiful. But uh, yeah, until that day, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to write that down in my goal book tonight. And uh, it's something that I'd love to do for sure. Could you imagine the Irish support you'd have here? Mate, it, it's fantastic. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, The Irish love to come out and support their own. It would be, uh, it'd be beautiful to see the whole, the whole of Vegas strip with green, white and orange flags, it'd be, uh, it'd be something dreams are made of, you know what I mean? This is my first time coming to Vegas and it's a, it's a very, it's a beautiful place. It's, it's not what I even expected, you know, in my head, it's not. So um, it'd be great to bring some family out here and supporters out here to, to support me and the family world title, it'd be a dream come true. Well, the casinos and hotels in Vegas will be very happy if you fight here one day with your fans oh, coming out here. 100% mate, you know the Irish like to drink and they definitely like to gamble, so it would be uh, a great atmosphere out here for sure. So let's talk about December 11th, Pro Bellum card in Dubai. Uh, a big night of boxing that will be. Do we know anything about your opponent for that night, Jono? Um, so I originally had a, a decent opponent. He was like 20, 20 wins or something, and like 19 knockouts, one loss, something like that it was. It was a decent uh, car, it was a decent um, operator, but he just pulled out like two days ago. Now in fairness, I only, I only got the call to confirm that I was fighting on this show about four or five days ago myself. So they got someone who was a, it was a good operator and I was really happy to take the fight. Um, so they sent me someone over yesterday and I think his record was like 17 knockouts, 20 wins and four losses or something like that. So still another, another dangerous opponent. Um, but someone, if I'm looking at winning world titles, it's something I have, to, I have to deal with. I have to be in there with dangerous opponents. I haven't got a massive knockout. Um, record, but I've, I've been in against some of the top class like boxers out there from early on in my career. You know what I mean? I beat Stephen Foster in like my fourth fight, Gary Buckland in my fifth fight. You know, these are people who are like European champion and British champions and stuff. Whereas I was beating them in my fourth, fifth fight. So um, even though my record doesn't look like I can bang, I'm just fast and I'm athletic, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be one of them 
boxer versus puncher kind of scenario. So I'll have to be on the ball, I'll have to be sharp, and um, I can't get complacent because I'm in a very, very good place now after beating Andy Vinces in that card in Miami from Triller. So uh, I'm now ranked number two in the WBA. So I have to be on. I have to be on point. Which being over here sparring Devon and stuff like that, it's it's gonna have me sharp as that and come uh, December 11th. So I'm really looking forward to putting on the show. Well, God willing, everything goes well uh, December 11th, and then next year, are you looking at that WBA world title? Is that the route, yeah, Jonah? Yeah, for sure. I think um, it's Chris Corbett is fighting the champion, and they were supposed to fight in December. So originally, my team was like, right, let's get you to keep busy fighting December, so you're not inactive, you're not out of the gym for too long. So this is the reason why we jumped out of fight in December. Um, but now it's looking like they've got pushed back to January. But uh, it'd be amazing. Imagine me getting a world title on like Paddy's Day or something like that. It'd be, it'd be fantastic. But um, that's definitely a fight that I'm looking at um, come next year, depending on when the champion is ready to defend it again. Um, hopefully, God willing, there's, there's no bad injuries or anything and we can get that on maybe Paddy's Day. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just happy and thankful that MDK are keeping me, keep me active, keep me sharp. My mind, body, physically, I just feel great at the minute, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm in a very good place. It's very good to hear. Listen, John O'Carroll, appreciate your time on IFL TV out in Las Vegas. We'll catch up with you uh, on Fight Week in Dubai. Best of luck on the 11th of December. Everyone tune in to that Pro Bellum card, all right? Yes, thank you, my brother. I appreciate it.